a live look this morning at Jefferson City, where later today, the fight to get 60,000 people the right to vote will heat up. Here's what it's all about. There's a rally that's happening later today that's called Unlock the Vote Mo. It'll happen at the state capitol. For more on this, we want to go out to our Ryan Henson. He is live in the Satellite Center for us. Ryan, what is this? Well, the rally is going to happen at 11 a.m. at the Senate mezzanine, and there's a couple of bills right now in the state house that is fighting for people on parole and on probation to get the right to vote to help them reintegrate into society. And that's what the crux of the argument is about. You know, advocates say if these people are expected to make full turnarounds and be supporting members of society, they deserve this basic right. And so giving them the right to vote gives them that responsibility, makes them more productive and reduces their chances that they'll be back in prison. Organizers say these people are expected to get jobs, pay taxes. Well, they should have a say who represents them as well. Tracy Stanton with ex incarcerated people organizing or simply known as Expo got out of jail in 2017. She says being an engaged citizen helped her get back on the right track. I mean, it just gives you a sense of not only responsibility, but a sense of belonging. I know for me, when I transitioned back into society, when I was able to become a part, a member of the society, it just made it did something for me on the inside. So um, it makes you not feel ostracized. Jamila Nasheed is leading the charge in the Senate. She says every single voice matters and giving these people this right will help them be more engaged in their government and help them have a greater impact in their community.